in any city, in any country. Go to a mental institution or a religious institution and you can get yourself into. When you reach the front desk, close your eyes and ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of faith. The worker will look at you in abstract confusion, shakes his head, and go back to his work. If you wait for full three minutes, he will sigh and walk you to a custodian's closet. He will lead you inside and lock you there. The door will not open, and it will be pitch black. Slowly the darkness will begin to describe, in the brightest of white words, in a language that you never have read and voices that you have never heard, speaking in the foulest blasphemies your body could withstand. Should the squality of you stop, fall to your knees and clasp your hands, screaming every prayer you know, if the writing does not continue, cause the God has put you in existence, if the writing does continue, stand quickly and race down the tunnel. There the tunnel will open up into a large dome, and you will see a young girl in white, staring at you, with her hair falling down to her face. Do not look at your hands, or they will peel the flesh from your bones. She will respond to your one and only question, Why do they fear? She will look up to you, and you in her mouth will blurt out every wrong that has ever occurred in the name of a god, and some of you must just believe in what happened beyond your reality. She will then fall to the ground, screaming in horrible agony as she consumed with the wet by the white flame. That ash is object 36 out of 538. It will one day be mixed with yours.